What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from Dawson Speak TV and D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing the videos on this channel. Much love to those who support this channel by donating. I appreciate it. All that information is in the description box underneath the video. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, thanks for clicking on the video. Now, this video is for educational purposes, and as I approach this topic with respect, I want you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comment section. Thanks. All right, all right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I hope y'all doing good. I haven't been before you in a while, man. I tell you, when I take a break, I take a break. Now, this story comes out of California, somewhere out there in California. Now, I have just come to the conclusion, I really have, that some of my viewers and subscribers really want me to get kicked out of my church. And I think you all think I'm scared to talk about my bishop, Bishop Noel Jones. You all keep saying, Dawson, why don't you talk about your bishop and his wife who waited for him for 20 plus years? How sad. I bet you won't talk about it because you know if you do, you're going to be disfellowshipped. They're going to take your name off the roll. Look, I don't care what them people try to take away from me. They can't take Jesus away from me. As long as I got Jesus, no matter where I go in this world, trust me, I'll be okay. Bishop Noel Jones is a Jamaican minister and Pentecostal bishop. He's the senior pastor of City of Refuge Church in California, which has many members and was formerly the Greater Bethany Community Church. In June of 1994, Bishop Jones was chosen to succeed the late great Bishop Robert W. McMurray as pastor of Greater Bethany Community Church. Bishop Noel Jones is a prominent bishop in the United States, and he has had speaking engagements around the world. Now, before Bishop Noel Jones married his now wife, Loretta Jones, Bishop Noel Jones was married to another woman, and in that marriage, they had children. After the divorce of his first wife, Bishop Jones continued to preach the gospel around the world while living a single, saved, sanctified, spirit-filled, celibate life for years. Take a breath! <laughs> Oh, man, I know some of my subscribers are like, Dawson, cut the crap. Your bishop was a slut, a complete slut. Look, I don't know what the man did. I don't know if anyone can stay celibate for years or decades, especially a man. I'm just saying, when there are no hot pockets around, the brothers start to get agitated and start to roam around. And some of the women do, too. Now, many people have said that Bishop Noel Jones was single for too long, and there's no way that any man could stay single for that long without having adult interactions. You all know what type of interactions I'm talking about. And there were some people who said in many comments that they would never, never be a part of a ministry where the pastor is not married. Now, let me say this. I'm 50-50 on that. Yes, I would like for my pastor to be married. However, if they're not married, it still doesn't mean that they can't be effective in ministry. I just believe that when a pastor is married, things flow better in the church. Most of the time, most of the time, things flow better. Now, I was a member of a church down here in Miami, and my bishop, well, well, he's still not married. He's been single for decades. And when I tell you that there were so many disruptions in Sunday service and also in Bible study from women in the Lord's church who thought that the Lord told them that bishop was going to be their husband. I'm telling you all, women would come to that church service and cause a disruption. There were women who would reach out to other pastors and people in the community saying, we're getting married on this day, and they would send out wedding invitations. There also was a woman who came to the church one day with the wedding dress on because according to her, the Lord told her that this was the day Bishop was going to marry her. So trust me when I tell you, I have seen my share of strange women in the Lord's church. When it comes to being a part of a ministry where the pastor is a male that's single. And let's not forget the lady who attacked Loretta Jones, Regina, I need a therapist ASAP Adams. One of her complaints in one of her Facebook videos was that Bishop Noel Jones got married to Loretta and everything changed in the church and it should go back to being the same. She had an issue with Bishop Noel Jones getting married as well. Now let's go back for a minute. When Bishop Noel Jones met Loretta, they became fast friends and remained friends for a long time. As a matter of fact, when we were introduced to Loretta on the Preachers of L.A. reality show, she said that her and Bishop Jones had been friends for 16 years. On the Preachers of L.A. reality show, it seemed to everyone that watched that Loretta and Bishop shared a special bond, but it wasn't a typical friendship bond. There was something more to that relationship. 
Now, during the time, Bishop Jones and Loretta received a lot of criticism from the Christian community saying that they were shacking or they were fornicating. Some people even tried to push them to get married so the rumors would stop. However, both Bishop Jones and Loretta stated on the Preachers of L.A. reality show that they were just friends, just friends, and that there was nothing sexual going on in their friendship. Now, how many of you all believe that? I mean, I don't know. I'm not in their beds. I don't know what they did when they were just friends. Wink, wink. On January 30th, 2022, after decades of just being friends, godly friends, Bishop Noel Jones finally proposed to Loretta in front of his congregation at City of Refuge Church. However, some people were upset that he pulled the engagement ring out of a Cracker Jack box. Take a breath. Now, there were some supporters who said that Bishop Noel Jones just did that as a joke, and it was going back to his childhood, pulling out the prize out of the Cracker Jack box. However, there were those who said that he's just playing games with Loretta. He played games during the dating process. He's playing games during the engagement, and he will continue to play games during their marriage. However, Bishop Noel Jones did hold true to his promise to marry Loretta. They married at the Beverly Hills Hilton Hotel. It was a beautiful wedding. Many family and friends were invited, and they also had the reception at his church, City of Refuge, where members of the congregation were allowed to attend as well. However, there are still many people who question why was Bishop Noel Jones single for such a long period of time. There are those who say that he decided to marry Loretta because he was getting older and needed a caretaker. Also, some people even said that Bishop Noel Jones had a questionable past and was probably using Loretta as his beard. Now, let me say this. Anytime there is, especially when there's a single man who has his own home, maybe his own place, takes care of his bills, don't need nobody, ain't got nobody coming in and out of his place, or even a woman, they're taking care of their responsibility, and they're single. People always think, especially if they're single for a long period of time, that they're either gay, lesbian, bi, tri, or whatever. Not so. There are some individuals who just don't want to be bothered. Some people love being alone. Everybody's not rushing to get married. And let me say this. If a man or a woman did have a past where they had sexual relations with someone of the same sex, and now they have come to the Lord's church, and they say they want to let go and let God, they want to wash their hands, wash their mouth, never get on their knees again and go back down south, if they truly want to serve the Lord and get married to the opposite sex, why y'all upset? I mean, ain't that what the church wants? She used to be bi. He used to be gay. They dropped the vibrators. Now they let the Lord have his way. That's what y'all want. So why is there an outcry? You know it's the truth. And the poor brothers who are in the church struggling with their sexuality, they get it the worst. Yes, they do. Soon as they walk through the doors of the church, uh-uh, girl, look over there. He say he was delivered, but I don't believe him. Soon as he walked through the door, I saw a spirit of sausage all over him. Yes, I did. It was like I was at Hickory Farms. <laughs> Y'all know it's true, but nobody don't say that about the women who had same-sex relations, and it's a lot of them. Nobody don't say nothing about them when they get married or when they walk through the doors of the church. Nobody don't ever say, oh, there she go. She used to be with all them nasty women running around town having fun. She used to be in that lifestyle so bad, she used to get down on her knees and eat them like a honey bun. You don't never hear that. Oh, we gonna talk. <laughs> Somebody better come get me off this mic. Yeah, it's 2024 and I'm gonna let it rip. Now, let me calm down because I know some of y'all gonna say, Dawson, you going real hard for your bishop and first lady. No, I ain't. I'm just giving you a show. Now, look. <laughs> <laughs> there are some people who even said Bishop Noel Jones is a drunk, a complete drunk. Look, I don't know if the man drinks all the time. Right there, it looks like him and Loretta are enjoying a glass of wine. There's nothing wrong with that. Jesus had wine, and if it was good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me. Cheers. Now, I know some people thought I would just look over Bishop Noel Jones' love child. No, I'm not. 
The last I heard, Bishop and Loretta, they're taking care of that girl. Things are okay between them and the mom and all that good stuff, all right? So I'm glad that is going on, you know, that they are making sure that babe, that, well, she's like I'm a teenager now, that she has whatever she needs. Now, he's not the only man who done had a baby without being married, so I'm, that's not really a big deal to me. I just want you to take care of your kids. All of y'all, men and women, take care of your kids. You all know I was a, with Department of Children and Family for years. I don't play that. If you have them, take care of them. There have been people who have said that Loretta is desperate. She is a desperate woman and that she has wasted half of her life waiting on Bishop Noel Jones. And I say, no, if he is the one that she wanted and in the end he wanted her, she got what she wanted and he's married to her now. And if they're happy, who am I to hate on it? Because there are many individuals around the United States and the world who thought by doing favors and all this extra stuff for a particular person, and some even had kids by that person, that it would make them put a ring on it and be with them forever. And now that person is giving you kids, you've wasted money, wasted time, and they've married someone else. So in the end, Loretta got what she wanted. And Loretta and Bishop are doing well. And I wish them all the best. Now... Get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. Please share the video. Thumbs up the video. Thank you all for those who donate. Say, Brother Dawson, you bless me. I love your show. I'm going to bless you back. I appreciate you. Love you too. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself and each other. Peace.